Hello everyone. If you are an RVer and you are looking for a state park with full hookups that can accommodate big rigs, it has a boat ramp, this gulf, an airport for remote control planes, a lake for jet skis, then you need to follow us for a tour of Markham Park. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you will not miss our weekly videos. And we are on the road again. We are heading down to Markham Park and Sunrise for a, a little staycation. So here we go. It's one quarter mile. Turn left. Good. Good, good, good. But I saw that narrow down to one lane. Well, the car there, don't last. Yeah, that's what I was talking first spot was not a good spot because it was very muddy from all the heavy rains and we were afraid to get stuck in there so we just parked up for one night because they promised us a different spot the next day and not all the spots most of the spots are grassy and we actually wanted a concrete pad so the next day we headed over to our second spot where we spend the week and it was a much better spot on concrete so Markham Park is located, the address is Sunrise, but it seems to be right between Sunrise, Weston, Davy. because when I pull up Publix, there were three Publix and each one was in a, a different city, had a different city address. The park is over 600 acres. It's huge. It's been here a very long time. Apparently first they only had electricity for RVs, now there's water and sewer, so there's full hookup. The rates are really good, like $30 a night. And it's beautiful. It's huge trees, such a pretty nature place. All day long, there's people taking advantage of it as well, walking, running, biking, especially onto the weekend. There's lots of pavilions for events. So this is a really, really pretty park. This is for tent camping, they call it. Primitive camping. Markham Park in Sunrise. In the morning, the road is really shaded by these big, tall trees. It makes for really good walking or running or jogging or biking. And in between the wooded area, there's little paths everywhere that go out to the lake in the back. In fact, I saw people um, with the remote control cars over here yesterday as well. So there's all kinds of activities in this park. You can see the lake in between the pine trees. It's really pretty. Pines and lots and lots of birds. A little rock formation over here. Right next to the lake, there's little cool, like kind of hangout picnic spots everywhere. This is Circle K. 
nothing to do with a gas station. We should have had Circle H for Hernandez, I believe. Every circle has only about five parking spots and the parking spots are really large. So you have a lot of privacy and the lake is right in the back of the parking spots. There's also bathrooms, restrooms all throughout the park. We were into section L, circle L. And the only bad thing about this section is that we had very bad phone service and barely any internet. So if you come to this park, I recommend you stay more towards the front. The L circle is all the way to the north side towards the back and service is really bad. That was the only downside because we really enjoyed the privacy of this spot. There was a lot of wildlife in this part. We had an iguana right outside our window. And then we had a family of raccoons come over to a barbecue. Ah, she sees Carlos, look. Oh, she told the babies to leave. And you can see that the Lay's wavy so potato chips right? was a big hit. On here, the wood keeps going out because yeah, it's, okay. it's wet. Listen, we're, we're about 10 s'mores. Although it was almost 90 degrees, we still lit a fire and made some s'mores with the grandkids, and it was a lot of fun. We are far away from the ocean, but there are sea grapes everywhere. Unfortunately, they're only now starting to turn ripe. They're all green. I was about to say how peaceful it was and all I could hear were the birds, but it is a shooting range over at the northern end of the park. So that's what I'm hearing as well. There's little walking trails everywhere. There's an iguana down here and a little gator just went jumping into the water. So I'm not sure how close I will get to the water. But it's a beautiful nature park. Great place to be outdoors, walk, run, jog, bike. enjoyed watching the jet skiers out here especially on the weekend it was very busy it was like a jet ski obstacle course or something and this was very entertaining i could sit here for hours just looking at them racing around This park has the largest dog park I've ever seen. This dog park is huge and it has all kinds of toys and stuff for the doggies and it's super busy. People really take advantage of it, so it's so cool. The use of the doggy park requires an annual membership fee of $25 or a daily fee of $5. There is also a part for the baby Barkums as well. Yeah. 
a Fox Astronomical Observatory. We did not check this out. These spots are really really large you have so much privacy and there is also a boat ramp and people would take advantage of this boat ramp and you can also go fishing the water is super clear I was really surprised There are 88 RV spots and they're all divided like in little circles from circle A at the front of the park all the way to L to the back of the park. And this park is huge, so the spots are so big. Markham Park Remote Control Airfield offers 50 acres of space to fly your remote control plane. They have a 755 foot paved runway to land and take off. You will need an AMA card and I believe it's a $25 annual membership to be able to fly your plane out here. There's a covered area, seated area, there's restrooms, vending machines. This is very entertaining to just hang out here and watch these little planes. Not little because some of them are quite large actually. It's not a roller coaster, nope, it's the road. Markham Park encompasses 669 acres. It even has an 18 hole disc golf course that is open to the public free of charge. You must have your own equipment, but maps and scorecards are available at the park office. There are picnic tables on the big trees everywhere. It's such a nice picnic area. We actually found this RV park because of a baby shower, a very special baby shower for our soon to be new little grandbaby Ben, who will soon be here. And that's how we knew about the RV park because of the pavilions. They rented the pavilion for the baby shower and we found out there were spots for RVs. This game was simply hilarious. The first one to catch the pacifier is the winner, but I don't think we had a winner actually. There are picnic tables on the big trees everywhere. It's such a nice picnic area. We had lot L2 at Markham Park. It's so private, huge spot. Not all the spots are concrete, but we had a concrete spot. Barbecue grill, picnic table. Everyone has a circle. We've actually been parking in a circle under the trees. But as you can see, this is a really nice park. I'm sure it's nicer in the winter because it's super hot now, but so is every park in Florida. We are all packed up and ready to hit the road. We came to visit family 
and we didn't forget anything at home because we brought our home. And off we go. My honey's got this. Heading out on a straight area to attach the car now. That was our spot. And just like that, we are all hooked up and ready to hit the road. Follow the adventures of CNC. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That's like a path over there where I see people going in and out. At the next stop sign, turn right. At the stop sign, turn right. Yeah. Then at the next one, turn left. So